some medicine, my lord? I have salves, potions, anything you need. Stop bothering me, urchin. Or you'll feel the back of my hand. You must consider your health, my prince. If a show of force is needed to keep the Dalmex at bay, you may trust in your dragoons. I beg you to call on Bahamut only as a last resort. His strength comes at too great a cost. The Empire agreed to an armistice with the Republic, and yet the Emperor still plots its ruin. For now, the Dalmex suspect nothing. And as long as I can hold their gaze, war need not be inevitable. But more than that, Bahamut is the champion of the Empire. When our people look to the heavens, the sight of him gives them hope. Forgive me, Terence. Would that you were my master. But alas. I will always be your loyal servant. Should the Council's brazen maneuvering prompt the Republic to tear up their own treaty and launch a new assault, our soldiers would advance to meet them, cutting across the Central Isles, but not in time to prevent their forces from breaching the Southern defenses and storming Twinside. And so the capital would become a battlefield. Thousands of innocents would die. I cannot allow that to happen. There is one small mercy, at least. You will not be forced to do battle with Titan. <laughs> Would that I could avoid doing battle at all. A thousand pardons, your highness. What is it? Olivier has been made Emperor. What is the meaning of this? My father's orders. What were they? Quickly! Uh, yes, Your Highness. His Radiance requests that Your Highness maintain position here and... Gah! Yes, my prince. I must go to the palace. I'll ready your steed. What is it now? Forgive the intrusion, your highness. I know you. At ease. We stand in the presence of the Phoenix. You wouldn't want to get your fingers burned. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Though I admit, I did not expect such a distinguished guest. How many years has it been since the Remembrance Ceremony? Twenty? I thought you long dead. Do I address a ghost? 
Many have told me that I look like one. But no. I'm alive. Just. Prince Dion of the House Lesage, I have a tale to tell you. God damn it! I want to know the button's tail! <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god. It looked like they know about Mythos or knew me, Clive. And Joshua's met with the, the, the prince that now he's no longer the crown prince. His brother is. God damn it. Annabelle is ruining everything. So, what are we gonna tell about the, the peoples? Or our people's like that we destroyed the crystal even though we said we're not going to. Fuck. Change. What change? Do we have new enemies or new bounties? Fuck! Fucking Ultima. He he was so close to turning me into whatever he wants me to turn into, or I don't know, like to control me or possess me. And we have the fucking old. Age. He's just watching the whole thing. With his men. Same troops are massing at every board. Oh. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Your benefactors are a generous lot. 350, I need 350, damn it. Not long ago, I was accosted a footpad as I walked through the gilded path. I would have perished alone in the desert had it not been the curse breaker come to my aid. All than my life. May the token serve you well. Best of luck out there, Sid. Okay, what kind of enemy is there? Better not be a level A, damn it. I could barely defeat the other guy. Holy shit! I'm way behind! He fucking way behind. Oh, level A, level B, level C? What the fuck? Level C. An S? What the fuck? A level S? This is not a monster, this is the guy! I thought it was going to be only monsters. <laughs> oh, fuck. But an S? Location. Unknown. Where the fuck am I supposed to find this fucker? Oh, S. First, I got to defeat this motherfucker. Shit. I need to get a little bit stronger. Or maybe I am strong. Here for another of my lectures. Yes. How may I help you today? Let me see. Icon battle, I defeated him. Okay, they tricked him and then gives order to. Oh, so he did give order to. At first, I was thinking about that this guy was working alone. That maybe he's Ultima because he look, <laughs> they look almost the same. Well, the hair, their hair looks the same. See? They're all, they're, they're like close, they're, they're, they're almost the same peoples. They're almost the same. I thought he he was Ultima pretending to be like his assistants, but it looked like he was giving him orders. Adversary, okay. Heart Company, visited. Informs Oliver his enthronement. The Holy Prince. We keep seeing her. <laughs> we keep seeing the medicine girl. Is she is she like uh important? You know, like maybe she's oh uh, not like a secret agent, like like some unworthy uh 
an unknown being that we don't know pretending to be a little girl like she's like trying to watch everything the show of joshua she's mostly with joshua that's where she's appearing like is she following joshua is she ultima one must understand one's place in the world oh reinforcement Drake's thing still having a standoff Okay, that's pretty much it. Thus ends today's lesson. Clive, you're back. I am. And with glad tidings for once. Hugo Kupka is no more. Well, I'll be. All of our comrades who lost their lives back at Sid's place be smiling down at you right now. We had a stolas from Lubor saying Drake's fang had fallen. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? It's... It's a long story. One for the history books, I'll bet. Welcome home, Clive. It's good to be back. You look better. I feel it. Which means I'm coming on your next little adventure. You're not leaving me behind again. Wouldn't dream of it. Otto. Any uh, word on the royalist movement since I've been away? Shouldn't you be putting your feet up? <sighs> if you really want to know, go and have a word with Vivian. Thank you. I will. I was with her. Shit. Ah, the conquering hero returns. And with hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. <laughs> well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident Physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Waluda's. The very same. But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the Royalists, he took them to his grave, as did his men, slaughtered by the Orcs who'd taken over the Fang. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in Storm before. The Waluders must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the Mother Crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? It makes no sense. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the adamantus? One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? The kingdom of Walud claims dominion over all of Ash. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin, the Canvarian War of Independence in 849, the Battle of the Twin Realms in 865, the Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the Blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Walud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Walud standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot?
In summary, I know not to what end the Royalist betrayed Kupka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kupka is dead. The wounds he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are, all of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. Holy shit. All those peoples? This is the first one. The Tomb Lord. Oh. The merchant. We gotta tell her. He's the one who gives us everything we need. Well, someone looks pleased with himself. It's true what I'm hearing then. Nothing escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. Kuka is dead. Hmm. No more looking over our shoulders then. Good. I'm starting to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head though. What you have? Well, don't just stand there gawping. Fuck. Come again. Oh, don't. What? I'm not much bothered. I haven't spoken to you for a while. Welcome home, Clive. I was hoping you'd be back soon. That's it. Blackthorn, do you have a moment? What is it? I'm busy. I wanted to tell you that Hugo Kukra is dead. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting to hear those words. <laughs> this is it then. Uh, a new beginning. Under a new Sid. I'll try to live up to the name. Wait, 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 wait. Yep, you got new stuff. Gimme, give gimme. Give what do you want? Fuck. What come I can't? I want to upgrade my other sword. The purple sword, but I can't. Tell a bitch. It lasts you a good while. I need this for the. Not bad, if I do say so myself. The goddamn Minotaur. No scratches, right? No, oh, fuck, I get you. Don't waste my time. You ain't got the stuff. I need. Lentius mask? Where the fuck do I get those? I got everything else. I just need that one. What about you? Electrum. Where the fuck do I get Electrum? Is it? This is my one anything of my else? my targets. Have you come seeking the gift of knowledge? No. To share mine, actually. Hugo Kupka is dead. He... Oh my. Can it really be true? <laughs> Look, he's crying. 
<laughs> he is <laughs> big baby. <laughs> and with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. There shall be no lessons today, only thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go, put away your things. All right. Brilliant. Finally, a new dawn has broken. It has. Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait to share the good news. Hippocrates. After Kuka fell, Ultima came to me. I need to know what he is. Have you learned anything? Alas, no. And not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. But I saw him. With my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. To others, he reveals naught. We see only that which he leaves in his wake. Like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. A brother of death. Whether the Ultima you met with was the being itself, or merely another projection of its power, I know not. But until I do, my investigations shall continue. Thank you. It means a lot. Right. Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. I'm telling you, it's true. I heard it from Otto's own lips. You go cook, Kirby. Now everybody knows. Okay, damn it. We're seeing troops amassing at every border crossing. You barely sat down since you came home. Vivian got you running errands or something? Just spreading the word. So, the Professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. Hmm. You're right. I should. And I will. Well, when you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down at that workshop of hers, trying to do her father proud. I can't remember the last time she visited the old Salt's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. What, Mid? Where's she building anyway? So I'm kind of curious. He's trying to build something. We got all the materials she needed. All right, Clive. What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal. <laughs> displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for. Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood, and more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. 
I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I were hoping you'd say that. First things first, I need some parts making. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in, here, that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top, that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shield in around the sides, that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. A full suit of armor then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plating. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. I can't make it not tell of them. Luckily, you don't need to. Wait a sec, can I travel anywhere? I can't, there's a side quest over here. What kind of side quest? It doesn't have the plus sign. Finally! <laughs> they fucking have a side quest here! It's been a while! But first, I wanna fight the Minotaur. Yeah, he's still here. Sorry, bitch.